Hello, I'm Steve, also known as Tea Break Knitter, on social media. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I cast on for a steek. The steek that I'm going to make is to cover these four stitches here that I've marked with a pin that will be put on the waist yarn and might later be used to pick up an armhole, for example. I'm going to use an eight stitch steek. I'm using an even number of stitches so that should I have to change the colour yarn in the middle of the steek, I can be sure of catching both colours of the old yarn and both colours of the new yarn. I'm also going to be adding an edge stitch to each side of the steek in the background colour, which would normally be used for picking up arm, armholes for the arms or button bands. So this is how I do it. I'm going to be knitting up in pattern, so keeping this pattern of two, four, 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 four two colours. Now there are two dark stitches before the four stitches that I want to pick up. So here are the four stitches I'm going to take onto this yarn. You can see I've already threaded it through. Here's the stitch before the one. And what I want to do is to catch, to make an edge stitch tied into this one so it's firmly. So I knit that stitch as normal, but leave the loop on the needle so I can knit into the back of that. Now that's the edge stitch, so I want to mark that position because that's actually the start of the steek. So that's all, that stitch is always going to be knit in the background colour. Now, before I start do anything with those other stitches, I'm going to make the stitches for the steek. The first stitch, ste stitch in the steek is going to be contrasting with this one, so it's going to be in the light colour yarn. So I make a loop with a dark colour yarn, knit into it with a light colour yarn. So I've now got the first steek stitch. I now use the light colour yarn to form the loop, the dark colour yarn to form the stitch. So that's two steek stitches. Loop in one colour, knit in the next, three steek stitches, and the fourth steek stitch is going to be in the dark colour. Now I want to be able to spot the middle of the steek very easily because it's the middle of the steek that I'm going to cut. So I make an, another loop with a light colour and knit with a dark colour. So I've now got those two dark colour stitches next to each other. They're what I'm going to look for when I cut the steek. So I now knit another three steek stitches, starting off with a stitch in the light colour. So I've now got one edge stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steek stitches. So I want to make another edge stitch. So now I return back to the main fabric. Here are the four stitches that I'm going to put on hold. And here's the first stitch of the fabric that's going to be knit as a light coloured stitch. However, I want to create a new edge stitch, so I'm going to knit into that with the dark yarn, put on a placeholder for the start of the steek, and then I'm going to knit through the back of the loop to give me the light stitch that I want. 
and continue to the end of the row. So that's my cast on. I've got the two edge stitches that were knit into the last stitch of the fabric. That ties them in quite closely to that. And then I've got the alternating steak stitches. As you can see, each stitch is formed in a loop of the opposite colour. This means that when I come to reinforce the steak, steak, I can make sure that that bottom, very bottom of the cast on edge and the stitches themselves are reinforced and so that they don't pull back. And the reason I use the eight colour, the eight stitch steak, is so that when I reinforce, I'll be tying those two stitches together and those two stitches together. So that if I've changed colour in the middle, the two old colours are going to be held together and the two new colours are going to be held together so that the whole fabric is reinforced even if I'm changing colour. So that's how I cast on for my steaks. Hope you found this useful. Until the next time, happy knitting.